Okay, so we've got GCSE maths coming up very soon. Paper one, which is the non-calculator paper. So I'm gonna be giving you a few tips and these are all last minute tips because we don't have any more time. But trust me, these are things that I did day before my exam and really helped me in getting my grade nine at the end. So I'll have some links down below in the description with resources that might help as well. But the first thing I want you guys to do right now is to open up Maths Genie and to flick through all the topics there. What it has is topic questions from grade one all the way to grade nine on all the different topics. Just look through all of them and make sure that you are very familiar with each and every one even if there's a topic there that you're like oh i don't know if i can get every single question right in that topic go to that topic do the worksheet they're not very long and then you have an idea of whether or not you need to do more practice on it or not basically right now you want to make sure that there's no topic areas that you're not going to get right and the best way you can do that is to focus on every single topic individually and improve on it like that i don't recommend for you to be doing full pass papers now because there's just not enough time and it's going to be really inefficient you want to just focus on the areas that you know you're not good at and you know that you're probably not going to get right when you sit the exam now once you've gone past this stage and you think okay i'm pretty much good with every single topic or at least i'm decent like i don't need to worry too much about individual topics anymore i know the basics pretty well and i'm not going to forget anything like that if that's the stage you're at you're already in a really good stage so congrats but there's one more thing you can do now and this is to go to the gcc maths tutor youtube channel he's got youtube videos on all the really difficult questions in every topic so some of the really bad circle theorem questions that have come up or like vector questions the worst ones that have ever come up he's made videos on them and try and see if you can do those ones try and do it before he does it and then see his explanation if you can do those questions you're fully set in that topic and now one thing that's really important when you're doing these practice questions by the way is to look at the number of marks and to give yourself that amount of time i mean this is something you should always be doing but right now as you do your practice you want to be as efficient as possible right you don't want to be spending 20 minutes staring at one question just getting tiny bits of it done and then realizing okay you've spent one hour and you've only gotten through one topic so instead if you've come across a five mark math question set yourself five minutes or six minutes max just finish it in that time so then you can move on to the next question that way if you can't do the question at least you can own up to that and you can check the answer and if you can do the question at least you can do it in the time given this is going to be good for your exam tomorrow or today depending on when you're watching this but also you're going to be more efficient and just trust me it's going to feel much better that way and if you've done all of that you're set i know that's quite a lot of things that i've asked you to do but trust me if you can just get through the mass genie phase of just going through all those topics and making sure that everything's good that is more than enough but if you really want to aim for those top marks go for those really high difficulty questions find them on GCC Math Tutor find those type of questions and try and attempt those and now I just want to give you guys a few tips on the exam itself remember it's a non-calculator exam so make sure that your non-calculator skills are up there right so don't realize when you're doing the exam that you can't multiply numbers correctly or like you're struggling with column addition that like really basic stuff make sure you can do all of that just double check you can do those really basic things just because you don't want that slowing you down and last make sure that if you can't do a question to skip it if you've been staring at a question for more than two minutes and you haven't made a start on it skip it I don't even care whether or not you're slowly getting to the right answer just skip it and then come back to it because if you do that for every type of question that you aren't able to do even though you might have quite a lot of questions to then come back to you also have quite a lot of time at the end to come back to those questions and get them right and now obviously if you are spending some time on a question but you know you're gonna get to the answer that's okay but if you're sitting there and there's a question you're staring at and you just don't know where to start please 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 skip it there's that and there's the problem of silly mistakes as well one thing i did for my gcse's right for silly mistakes is i underline the keywords it helps so much and it makes sure that you don't misread any numbers right if you underline everything that's important and that way like subconsciously it goes into your head and then when you write it down yourself you're not going to write the wrong number it's just like it's it's not going to take you any more time but it could potentially be the difference from a fail and a pass or an eight and a nine or anything right it could be the reason you do well in your exam so please underline your keywords look over your answers skip any questions you can't do and just don't stress you'll be fine best of luck for your exam tomorrow or today depending on when you're watching this and i'll see you guys very soon best of luck